Hey y'all, so, um, thought I'd shoot this outside. Um, so, spinal cord stimulators, how we got here. So, um, how we needed to go this route. Um, before I got into ag, um, before I got into photography, uh, I was a competitive figure skater, started out doing men's singles, eventually did pairs, um, was between my competitive career and my teaching career, I was in it for about 30 years. So given that time, really puts a beat down on your body so like many skaters I have a lot of issues with my back and my hips and my knees and you know the MS or multiple sclerosis hasn't helped with a lot of that um, that's part of the reason why I made the transition from uh, competitively and professionally skating to, you know, teaching more full-time. We have gone through and we've done um, the ablations, which are where they go in and they basically heat up and burn the nerves in your back to help with pain. We have done epidural injections. So we've done, you know, several things, physical therapy and, you know, um, a lot of that stuff. Nothing really has helped. So, um, because some stairs and I didn't get along, um, I rolled my ankle toward the perineal tendon. Well, we did surgery to repair the tendon, but the tendon wasn't healing on its own. And then we started developing scar tissue issues. Uh, fast forward, that brings us to uh, six ankle surgeries. And it was one of my wife's co-workers at the pain clinic that she works at that said you know if you guys tried a spinal cord simulator between the leg issues and the back it might be something worthwhile so that kind of led us to trying the spinal cord simulator trial and see if it worked um, which you know if you've seen my other videos you'll know that you know it worked phenomenally well so um, I get a lot of questions about you know if I'm going to get my daughter into skating the short answer is no um, don't get me wrong it's a great sport um, it teaches discipline, it teaches um, social skills, you know, there's a whole slew of reasons why. Um, but the wear and tear that it takes on your body, I would not wish on anyone. The fact that it takes me 45 minutes to get up and get in a vertical position every morning, I would not wish on anyone. That's just, you know, the nuts and bolts of it. Um, that is also why I have not gone back to teaching because with all of the pain issues that I have, 
I got to a point where I could not put other people's children through that. You know, it may seem all nice, well, and good, you know, when you're doing it, and it's a hell of a lot of fun. You know, I love competing. But if I had known what life would be like <clears throat> in my mid-40s, it would be a totally different story. I probably wouldn't have stayed in it as long as I did. It also is no secret that... Um, how, how to put this? The ISU and their uh, IJS judging system, I think, has basically raped the sport of figure skating. It's no longer a aesthetically pleasing sport. Um, you know, those of us that skated prior to IJS, uh, you know, you had to pay your dues. Yeah, that sucked. You know, you had judging issues. <clears throat> yeah, that sucked. But skating, there was a split between the artistic side and the technical side. Now, it's all technical. It's basically a pinball game. And, you know, I, it seems like since they made all those changes, every single Summer Olympic, or su not Summer, Winter Olympics, there's issues revolving the sport. Uh, you know, you had, you know, the Salt Lake Olympics with uh, the Paris event. Uh, this past Olympics, you had, sorry, fly. Um, this past Olympics, you had a Russian skater that, um, you know, really probably shouldn't have been allowed to compete. You know, um, you know, you either play by the rules or you don't. And if you don't play by the rules, you don't get to play. You know, that's the way it should be. But, um, but yeah, so, uh, sorry for the tangent. But, you know, that's why I've kind of, you know, stepped away and um, why my daughter won't be involved in skating. Um, you know, I know that, you know, teaching skaters now, you know, we've kind of come a long way from back in the day. Um, injury prevention is a lot better. But I'm just... I'm just not re really willing to take that risk with my daughter. So, anyway, um, that's how we got here. Um, I told you guys that I'd do a video on how we got to making the decision to try a spinal cord simulator and what kind of, you know, led us to this point. And, uh, so yeah, until next time.